Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. Right now, as you can see, okay, I usually get my meat lashes filled in. Hold on. I usually get my meat lashes filled in, but like my lash tag left, y'all, to go back home. So literally, I went to this other girl to do my lashes, but they're really like simple. They were cute, but they were just really simple and like natural looking. But I like thick looking lashes, so. When I went, I went to the store, the beauty supply store, and bought some of these. Yep, I bought some Broadway individual lashes originally for the girl to put in, put on for me, but she couldn't get these to stick. So what I did is I started adding these, and I was like, and then I did my friends, and I was like, yo, yo, I could really like do something with this. So I didn't record a video, but. As you can, I had to take some of them out, so I look kind of droopy-eyed, so I'm about to record a video of me applying the lashes. Now, before, I used hair glue, but I don't think, and the girl used it, but I don't think that's the best choice or the best thing to be using on your eyes. It's like, it kind of makes them easy to come out, come off. So, I went ahead and caught me some more lashes, y'all, and some, actually some long lasting Sean Cole mild scent I envy individual eyelash adhesive so and it was $2.99 y'all so I'm gonna try to use this glue hopefully it doesn't bother me too much because sometimes I have problems with the, the glue my lash tech uses for the other lashes but literally I'm not gonna I'm probably not really gonna buy um, I'm not really probably going to pay $25 to keep getting my eyelashes filled in when literally I can do them myself. And none of the lashes really fell out, fell out when I went to bed. It was more or less, it was more or less like, cause they're clumped together now. So what I'm going to do is put my hair back in the ponytail. Some dimple punch out, and I'm probably gonna fix this because you can see, like, it looks kind of funny. And what you'll need is some tweezers. And instead of pouring the glue in there because I'm not doing a full set, I'm just basically filling them in. I'm just gonna use what, like, fell in the cap. But if with these $1.99 Broadway lashes, you can put the glue right here. So, literally, literally, I'm about to just pull this out. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm going to place it a different angle. Dip the end in here. And I have a mirror right in front of me. And literally, I'm just going to put it close to my lash line. Just let that dry. And literally, it's just that repetitive process all over. It's somewhat tedious if you get it on your eyelid like you're not supposed to but like it's really gonna tell like this this eyelash right here it's low-key bit so uh oh Okay, trial and error. Oh well. Literally, this is my third time putting these on.
Okay, so basically, I almost basically finished this eye, but it's kind of hard to get the eyelash in the crease. But I feel like low key these are making my eyes look droopy. But I'm about to go back and fill it in some more right here. Oh, bitch. Woo! Bro, who was Snapchatting us? Okay, so here I'm just brushing out the lashes and I'm using this spoolie that I got from when I was getting my meat lashes filled in. And I'm just trying to correct some of the lashes because they're a little bent and going in different types of directions. So, yeah, I'm just brushing, brushing. <laughs> this is the finished look. Um, they're not completely, like, even, even or whatever. But they thick, honey. So, oh, yeah, this is the glass glue, by, by the way. I envy my kiss. But yeah. Do my eyes look droopy? I'm, I'm recording my video. Do my eyes look droopy? I hear you. Do my eyes look droopy for real? Yeah. You, you for real? You like droopy? Like droopy. Like, Jumpy. Droopy. Damn. Let's do a side. It's like someone is like doing. 